All right, let's talk. Uh, let's talk a bit Kroger? about Sam Bankman-Fried because you you want to, you know, you do. Uh, FTX founder Sam Bankman-Fried did continue to speak out. You want him? He's available now. Apparently, uh, this, of course, after the collapse of the cryptocurrency exchange, he sat down with Andrew Ross Sorkin yesterday at the Deal Book Summit. Bankman-Fried struck back against those who accuse him of fraud. I didn't ever uh, try to commit fraud on anyone. I. I was excited about the prospects of FTX a month ago. Um, I saw it as a thriving, growing business. I was shocked by what happened this month. And, you know, reconstructing it, I, boy, are there things I wish I had done differently. There was no person who was chiefly in charge of positional risk of customers on FTX. And that feels pretty embarrassing in retrospect. Didn't really keep a close eye on that Alameda, apparently, uh, Jim. Uh, it was his first interview. Apparently, he may have done another one already today. Uh, I would assume his lawyers have just thrown their hands up yeah, and no, said, we're, we're just done with you. But he feels compelled somehow to continue to speak. It's obviously a fascinating story for many, uh, regardless of whether uh, they have any, any involvement in the crypto world at all. It's still uh, been fascinating to watch and listen to, and obviously kudos to It was to Andrew. fabulous interview by Andrew. Now, there's a couple things. Now, having gone to Harvard Law School, but, you know, and became a member of the, law, uh, of the bar, I will say this. That guy is a clueless idiot. It, intent means nothing. Saying sorry means nothing. If you co-mingle, if you had no record keeping, those are against the law. It's not like they're like, you know what, I was sloppy and I feel bad and I'm sorry. No, you were sloppy, you didn't keep records. Illegal, all right? So if you're admitting to illegality, even though you think that you had no intent, the U.S. attorney does not care one whit about intent. What the U.S. attorney cares about is did you break the law? Like, you don't go to the U.S. attorney and say, man, I'm, I'm really I sorry. Didn't I, I didn't I mean didn't it. I didn't even hurt anybody. No, it's against the law. Now, at... Being a nice guy, which he clearly is, he is, is irrelevant. Many people that I've spoken to, met him, known him, describe him that way. It doesn't mean a thing. It though. means absolutely nothing. No. Some of the nicest people I know have spent some serious time in jail. Um, and he I does, mean, really he nice does seem genuinely sorry. Uh, but again, there are many out there who believe he's just a pathological liar. Well, I'm that. You he's are. a pathological liar. He's a con man. Uh, he, he admits to, doing, to co-mingling. Uh, two accounts that shouldn't be commingled, but then he says it doesn't really matter. And I feel badly. Well, you know what? Again, it doesn't matter if he's a pathological liar, or the most honest man in America. The fact is, he broke the law. And I understand why his lawyers don't want to talk, because a lot of times what the lawyers say is if you admit and you do not seek Fifth Amendment protection, we can't help you. You will probably go to jail. See, lawyers say, you know, it's perhaps better that you don't say that you did the crime. Yeah. That tends to be why lawyers are lawyers. Um, well, it's an important point you make. Again, his saying, I didn't knowingly commingle funds doesn't so mean that, a it, thing. It really, I mean, it's that law is so, look, I was in a hedge not an fund. Effective if you commingle funds, your lawyers, and I had good lawyers, said, okay, that's, you'll probably go to jail for that. Don't commingle. So I would say, but I didn't have any intent to commingle, which I did not commingle. For and, now. You know, wow. I, I mean, think he's well, still hanging at the Albany Club, although I don't know how he's paying those monthly dues. But is he in Baker's Bay, Dune Dad? I mean, no, he's at the him? Albany Club. No, but if you looked at some of these Baker's Bay, you know, uh, what about Baker's Bay? Bay? That's not this stuff. Baker's. What about it? I'm sorry, but we we should just take up golf and go to these places. They're very expensive, Jim. No. But if you invite me as your guest, no, I'll I just did some looking. Yeah, my wife Taking a look? Off, so. I think you might even it's have to expensive. sell. I don't think it's you good You might value. have to sell a couple of houses to get one I think Wheels Up is a bit bad. How's that stock doing, Wheels Up? Is that good? Coming up.